Hi everyone, welcome to uh, Crochet Box. here. It's another open with me. And this one, it's for 100 days of knits for Christmas. Love to craft every day, plus a bonus magazine, oh sorry, <coughs> magazine of uh, Knit and Netter. So, it promises to have quite a lot inside. That wasn't me, that was this thing making a funny noise, I assure you. So let's see. Now there is a... A tape. Are we gonna get that off easy? No. It's very very stiff that. It's um <laughs> I think it's designed so that ah oh, there you go. That people can't steal the magazine in the shops. Anyway, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and hopefully you'll be informed when new videos pop up. Just move my drink so I don't spill it. So we've got um a bonus magazine worth seven pounds fifty. Um, this is issue 17, so they've done these before. And these are all different things you can make in here. There are 50 patterns, Yule, love, gifts for all, Christmas jumpers and socks, winter woolies, stockings and decks, festive toys, novelty hats and earrings, cosy homewares, pet knits and more. Beginners and beyond, learn new techniques, expert tips, learn to colour change, make with mum, and bits and bobs that you can make and inside there's also these teddies 15 extra projects perfect for knitting groups okay so this is the knit and natter book that's well cute isn't it so there's uh, 15 projects in there we'll come to that at the end of the magazine we'll start with the magazine first we'll say magazine it's more like a booklet isn't it so that's a lot of pages Okay, so this is the first time I've ever had 100 days of knits for Christmas, I think. Or 100 days of knits for anything. Okay, so this Knit Pro kit here, that is beautiful. I was toying with the idea of getting some of these ones that they have for uh, special occasions. Um, for my shop, which is hobbybox.co.uk. Um yeah, uh, there, there was a really beautiful purple one that they brought out. And now this one, Days and Night. It's absolutely lovely. But we'll see. Might do, might not. I've got an awful lot on there already. So in this issue then, there's a lot, obviously. Um, it's a big old book, so we won't linger too long on this. But um, let's just get cracking. I think that's probably the best bit. And Santa Claus toy. So we can knit Santa. He's cute. Like that. I like the fact that his beard isn't a load of just fluff. Sometimes they are. Stockings with a pom-pom. Now that's nice. It's an unusual one. It's got actually a, a pattern. I think personally I might have been tempted to do that the other way around. So that it would have white here and then red. Only because it will get a bit grubby over time. Because after all, Christmas stockings are for kids. You can always do it green as well, green and red. So we've got a robin wreath. He is a very cute robin, I have to say. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark in here today. It's raining outside. You could probably hear it um, coming down. We've got a cafetiere set. So um, is this just for a cup? I think that is a cafetiere. Don't show it very well, but it does look like that might be for the cafetiere. And then we've got cup covers. Little cosies, an elf hat, which is extremely cute, and a hotty cosy. So, hot water bottle cover there. I've made a few of those in my time. One for my channel, but several that I've made. And we've got a cosy cushion. Now, that is, that's nice. I'm not a fan, though, when I sit on a cushion of things that are not making it flat, if you know what I mean. Different if it's a pattern, but... Hmm. So I like a chart because you can convert that. You don't have to use it for knitting if you don't want to. But that is actually a nice pullover. It's called reindeer sweater. It's nice. <laughs> doggy stocking. Make a Christmas stocking for your doggy. Now that is pretty cute. I like that. <laughs> that is nice. You can always do that for your kids if they like dogs. Just saying. And a doggy jumper with a fair isle pattern festive decorations now this is cute i like these if you've got one of these kind of 
trees that look like bare branches. I have a small one with just lights. Well, I did have. I think it broke, actually. So I, might, I think we might have another one. I'm not sure if we bought one to replace it. It wasn't as good as the one I had. The one I had looked like this with white lights. Very nice, but it had a ridiculously long cable and it broke. So we've got holly earrings. And there's also kind of, is that bunting? I don't really know. It looks a bit small, but it is some kind of garland that you can knit as well. We've got Fair Isle set. So it's a hat that's a square and a pair of fingerless gloves. They're quite nice. Striped tea cozy. So we've got a couple of tea cozies going on. The other one with the sunflowers does look rather special, but this one is a stripy one just pulled in at the top there. Not bad. Elf friends. So we've got some little cute elves to make. Totally crackers. I've never actually made Christmas crackers. I've made my own Christmas crackers with card and my own snap and put toys and presents in. Well, mostly things for me and Gary when we've been on our own, but um, or one, when we had the odd visitor. But um, I can remember doing this kind of fluted edge here with my mum. Was it just made by making a hole and then folding it over? Star sweater. I like this. It's like a bobble. You could crochet something very similar to that because it's a chunky knit. I like that. That's quite sweet. And there's the chart. Anyway, chalk covers. <laughs> Would they be around long enough to cover them up? Mm, just saying. <laughs> but they are kind of cute. If you were giving people, say, some Ferrero Rocher, you could turn it into like a... That's, that's sweet. I like that. A floral cushion with a poinsettia. The first three issues of Let's Knit for £10 when you subscribe to Let's Knit magazine. Wow. So there's the uh, in info if you want to do that. And there's more inspiration magazines there. Oh, this is super. I do love the penguin jumper and that would suit Harley down to the ground because Paul, my eldest son, is crazy about penguins. And he would love that for, for Harley because he's a penguin nut. That's cute. Would I have enough time, I think, to make that? I'm not sure. A tartan scarf. So this one, yeah, I can see. There's the chart and I can see that. But this just doesn't really do that um, tartan scarf title justice, really. I'm not keen on that one. Tabletop trees. A little star on top. Sandy, Scandi gnome, Scandi gnome, Scandinavian is that? Cute. Festive slippers, they're nice. They're only nice though if you can put something rubberized on the bottom because otherwise they're a bit slippy. Crimbo socks. Mm, they're nice. Scandi sweater. We've gone very Nordic. All of a sudden, that's quite nice. Discover designer knit alongs. And a reindeer, he is very nice. I like him, I like his face. He looks very smug, <laughs> a little smug looking reindeer. Bottle bag, now that's an interesting one to do for presents, isn't it? If you're gonna give somebody a bottle of uh, wine or something for Christmas instead of getting a bottle bag made out of cardboard that would actually be quite cool to actually make a bag hmm I thought of that before Christmas baubles I'd have to do mine sparkly I'm a bit of a sparkly nut for Christmas a reindeer cushion now he's kind of cute little Rudolph he's got a rainbow back he's nice I like it I like that one snow globe Making snow globes. Of course, they don't snow. 
You can't shake them. This is Tommy the da da Dachshund sausage dog. Let's just call him a sausage dog. He is cute. I like him. With his pointy hat and elf collar. This party pooch is full of festive cheer. Make me love me. He is cute. I like him. Correcting common mistakes. Now that's quite cool. How to pick up your drop stitch. That's the only but the only mistake I can rectify. It's picking up a drop stitch. I've not been a prolific knitter in my life. I can knit and I do like to keep it up. Uh, I like to knit something now and then just to keep my hand in. But I won't say that I'm prolific at it. They're nice though. Those fingerless gloves. Quite like those. I do have some crochet fingerless gloves on my channel but not knitted ones a scandy dress here we go nordic pinafore using stranded color work I like her little hat too it's cute table set there's all the charts do love a chart you can always use them in any other kind of manner that you want i can't get my pages Oh, a Christmas tie and quick trees. Not a fan. Not a fan. I like a tree to look like a tree, not a squiggle. So the Christmas tie, though, that's different. I like that. If your man wears ties or even if you wear ties yourself. I don't know why we have to be sexist about ties. Webster the penguin. Again, Paul would love that. Having said that, my son Paul has far too many penguins in his life. He wouldn't believe so. Jolly booties. They're cute. Super cute. We're getting to the end. Christmas teddies. We're going to get to the how to do bits. And a Santa hat. I think personally, you've got fur here. It should be fur there. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But that's nice. Ribbed. It's quite a good one. So we've got all the how to knit pages. All the things you might need. There's a chart there. And so it's telling you how to read them. The glossary of terms. And, whoa, this little bonus at the end. Here's our penguin. He's cute. Look at that. I like it. Knitting rules that were made to be broken. Okay, so that's the end of the actual magazine. And now we get to the supplement, which I do like the tea cosy on the front page. Although I don't have a teapot. I think teapots and tea cosies have died out a little bit now. And they're more for the people who are quite enthusiastic about teas, like leaves and stuff like that. But we've got some coasters. We've got baby toy ideas, charity gifts and fashion accessories as well in here. And some seahorses. OK, let's get... A little have a look at our bonus magazine. Well, straight away, we've got a chart for some little decors. Flower blanket chart. And here is our flower blanket. So they've made it with a kind of a oatmeal coloured yarn. And they've got all these little bits and bobs on. That's quite nice. Purdy. Intarsia method. So, we've got a little bit of um, how-to-dos as well. Sensory ball. So I made a ball, but it was more crocheted than knitted. I didn't do a knitted ball, the crochet ball. But this one's got some nice little bits and bobs on. With 12 hexagons. You never know, might have to do something like this. You see, it gives you ideas. I like magazines. Flower power. Each group member can take on a sunflower or a leaf and combine it to make this radiant tea cosy. So if you're in a knit and that group and you have a teapot, then this is something for the whole group to participate in. Isn't that cute? Worry dolls. Work together and you'll soon have a bag full of bunnies and teds to fill this tote. So some time ago, I had a job where I was an area manager for a well-known funeral company. And... Um, a lot of our homes, funeral homes, had um, the bereavement bears and stuff like that. So a lot of groups got together and made us bereavement bears and 
like little worry teddies and stuff like that, which is a very, very cute idea. And um, little angels to uh, to put in with deceased. Oh, a bit morbid, but it's a nice idea. It's lovely. It was sweet. And um, we had... We had things like that. It was good. And little tiny itty bitty blankets and stuff like that. Little keepsakes. So this is fab for fundraising. So if you like me on a diet and you want to go to one of the Macmillan coffee afternoons where they make the cupcakes, this is probably the only one that I'd be able to have. It's quite sad, I know, but yeah. Sweet treats, cute and colourful, calorie free. These cakes would be fun charity knits. I do like them. They're sweet. <laughs> Although they're not, you know, that's the whole point. Um, but what I mean is, what would you do with them? Apart from, you know, display them. I don't know. I don't really make little things like that. I suppose you could hang them on Christmas trees and stuff like that, if you really wanted to. A simple shrug. That's nice. I do like that. It's pretty. Rosette purse. So... A simple little purse with rosettes on. They're quite spirally easy to make roses. This is a baby hat with a button on the top. Do you like that? I've not really seen this kind of baby hat before. Not so sure. Not convinced. A cosy cushion with loops. Check out this lovely loop textured stitch creating using your thumbs. My mum could do loopy crochet, and uh, sorry, loopy knitting and loopy crochet. I've never done it myself. I've never been a fan because I always think of little fingers pulling on it and getting an extra long loop. That always kind of puts me off. We've got a cable bag, which is quite nice. And a beanie hat and the mittens. I like the mittens though. They're quite quite nice. We've got seahorses and a washcloth. Now I don't really know what this is doing in our magazine because funnily enough I was talking to a fellow crocheter with a channel and we were talking about the differences between the UK and the US and things like towel toppers and washcloths were um, the main thing. We've never really been ones for doing that sort of thing and yet now obviously that um, YouTube has bridged many a horizon. We get these things pop up on our feed. And I was wondering if anyone in the UK actually does make them and use them. So maybe if you do, you can let me know in the comments section. So tell me what do you like about this? Do you like the magazine? Do you like the, the supplement? What do you like about it? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm at some point going to do this one as a giveaway. We'll have to see. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Take care. Let me know what you like and what you don't like. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.